it's, it's the story of Momotaro. Do you know the story of Momotaro? Hello everybody, greetings from Tokyo once again. Hello everybody, hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Greetings from Tokyo. I am here in the Nakano area. That's Nakano Station right over there, that building over there. This is the bus terminal and I'm actually starting off where we left off on the last video. Today I want to show you guys some of my favorite secret spots in Nakano. Hello everybody! Well, not so secret spots I guess if you're a local but um, I kind of want to show you some places that I like to walk through in Nakano. Nakano is only one stop away from Shinjuku Station so very very convenient to get here and I do recommend you guys checking this place out because um, it's a very local area but very close by to Shinjuku. Once again it's only one stop away from Shinjuku. Okay so that is the station and we're actually on the other side of Nakano Station. Um, Hmm, what 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 I'm not sure what side this is but if you go the other side that is the way to Nakano Broadway that's where everyone gets off but we're on the other side of Nakano today and the reason why is because this is one of my favorite walking routes on this side you'll find a lot more shops and restaurants on this street on that street of course you go down there as well that's the new condominium going up right now and another new building right behind that but first place i want to show you guys is this here it's called Rengazaka, which means um brick street and it's one of my favorite places to just stroll i'm not sure if i showed you guys this area before but since I can't remember, why not take you guys along this street again? So I like that there are like these little benches that you, can, that you can sit along the street just to relax and chill. There are mostly restaurants on, on this street. Uh, a lot of um, like wine bars and tapa bars. And I believe there's like a craft beer uh, restaurant as well but it's kind of nice and the amazing thing is that we've never eaten in any of the restaurants here on the street for some reason why is that this is in our neighborhood but we're always going to some other place okay we're gonna walk through this street later but for now let's just keep going to the end of this street They're doing lots of construction here uh, because it's kind of connected to the train station. See? All these tapa bars and beer places, beer stands and cafes. Oh, this Thai restaurant at the end is amazing. Really good food here. One of my recommended Thai spots. And this is basically the end of the street. If you go to the right, you end up at the station where they're doing lots of construction now. And then if you go down this street, uh, there's a really good, uh, um, what is that? Uh, Indian, Indian restaurant down there. But I'm going to take you guys around this maze-like area. It's quite charming. So... I'm gonna go back into one of the smaller streets here. Here you have a cafe here. Mo most of these places uh, get busy like uh, later on in the evening. This is a wine bar. They also have food here. This is like a tapa bar. Here's another bar. Another bar here. And most of these places do sell food as well. You can get a sandwich here. They get wine by the glass, beer, of course, food. 
Isn't this cool? Yeah, this place opens up at night. This, this place also specializes in wine and small dishes. This place is a sake bar and they serve uh, sake by the cup. Here's another little shop here. I'm not sure what they have here. Okay. And if you go there, that's the street we came up on. That's the brick street. And there's a nice little tiny little micro park here. Kind of like a nice courtyard. And because it's a uh, rainy season still, you see hydrangeas all over the city, which I actually like these days. I think hydrangeas are very pretty. And they come in all kinds of colors. Purple, white. And conveniently, this is the entrance to Marui department store. It's a whole building of uh, shopping and dining on the top floor. Here you can see more hydrangeas if we go down that way, but we're gonna go back to this street, okay? We're gonna explore the tiny little streets around this area. Here's a little map of the area. That's the brick street that we walk down and then all these little streets here that you can explore the different restaurants and food you can get in the area okay i'm gonna go back this way at nighttime this area is very pretty too you see all the string lights yeah it's very very pretty here here's a purple hydrangea for those of you who like flowers i like this I like the purple colored ones. They're very pretty. They remind me of pom-poms. Hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's walk. Okay, we're gonna go back into this street. I'm so glad it's not raining right now. The forecast does call for rain. So let's see how long this weather will last me. See all the, all the string lights here. And look, you can even go down this little street. It's like a residential street, huh? Look at this. Look at all the empty uh, wine bottles here. This tells you that we are approaching a restaurant. Yes, here. Noji Spice. This restaurant here, they are closed today. Um, sells curry. Yeah. And obviously you can have wine with the curry. And then when you come out of that, that little street, there's another bar here. There's a nice coffee shop here, on this corner here. There's even a nice little shrine. A neighborhood shrine. And you can walk down this street if you like. Hey, look at this! There's a gay mix bar in the area. What? I had no idea. Oh! This is it. This is a gay bar here. Of course, everyone's welcome. Gay and mixed bar. Interesting. Very interesting. Look at that. I discovered something new. Now, we are going to keep walking. And um, we're going to kind of walk away from this commercial area. And there's this hidden... I don't know what you call it, hidden street, I guess. Uh, that that's between here and um, Shin Nakano, which is another station, very local area, but it's kind of nice. I, it, it's a it's a street that I, I enjoy walking through. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to this place for now.
By the way, this is an apartment building here on the left side. Okay. By the way, we are walking parallel to the main Nakano street. That's where all the shops are. I decided I'll walk along more of the the less less popular streets just because I figure these are places most of you guys probably would never walk along or you know know about and then you can see lots of the local life happening you know I I, I don't find the, the Indian restaurant I thought it was somewhere here before I wonder if they've closed I haven't been to that restaurant in over 10 years so maybe they have closed you know things open and close so quickly here in Tokyo that's a rice shop it's a clinic this is interesting I don't think I've ever walked along this particular street I'm pretty sure we're going in the direction that I want to Okay, I know where we're going. So we go down this hill and then we'll get to Nakano Street, I think. By the way guys, before, by the way guys, we are going to Okinawa again. Satoshi and I decided to go to Okinawa. Actually, we're leaving, I think in less than two weeks because ANA was having a sale and uh, we, we got tickets for like I think it was like 9,000 yen one way and usually you know it's like way more than that and so we thought okay we, 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 we gotta take this opportunity and just go for it right so yeah we are going to go to Okinawa again this time uh, we rented a car for three days so we kind of want to show you you know different places you know outside of uh, the city of Naha so I hope that sounds like a great idea to all of you and I do hope you guys are not getting bored of seeing Okinawa there's so many things we haven't shown you yet in Okinawa and Okinawa is some place that we're also not too familiar with yet okay so yeah, we have come to Nakanodori. Alrighty. Okay, I want to cross the street here. This is Nakanodori, guys. We go down that way, that's the train station, Nakano station over there. And if you go straight down that way, you do end up at Shin Nakano, but I want to take like a secret route today. That's hidden away. I'm gonna cross over here. So this is mostly a residential area. I guess you could call this like central suburbs of Tokyo. And we're still in uh, Nakano Nakano Ward. Actually, Satoshi and I we live in the Nakano Ward. Nakano Ward is quite large. But from here to our apartment, it's a good 35 40 minute walk. So, yeah, Nakano's pretty big. Oh, there's a KFC here. I can't remember what this used to be, but they used to be something else. Okay, that's good to know. Although, it's not often that I find myself at KFC. There's a ramen shop on the corner over here and the reason why I remember it is because on the second floor there used to be a place that sold ramen burgers well that trend died down very quickly haven't didn't it you guys remember that you guys remember those ramen burgers we even made ramen burgers we 
even made ramen burgers on our channel, Tabi Eats, a long, long time ago. Okay. So, actually, we were walking towards the direction of Shinjuku. So, the train line from Nakano actually goes down that way. Of course, the train line's like on that side. So we're walking towards Shinjuku. You can actually walk all the way to Shinjuku if you wanted to. But that's a little bit too far for this video. I could do that, but then this video will be like, oh my goodness, maybe an hour and a half or two hours maybe. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so let's see where should I enter there is a hidden walkway you know what let's start from here so most people who are not locals will walk on the main street the street that we were on right now this is a hospital I believe but if we just kind of like like take a look peekaboo inside you'll find this nice quiet street with no cars isn't this nice and because there are less people here i'm going to take off my mask because it is a pretty humid day now i'm trying to remember did i ever make a video walking along the street i i for some reason i kind of remember that i did but maybe i didn't maybe i just made a video in my dreams i don't know but anyway, this street continues all the way. I'm not, not sure how far I'll walk along this street, but we'll go as far as we can. You might think, you know, what's there to see here on this street? That may be true if you're looking for something major, but there are interesting things like, you know, like cute tiles like this. See? And then of course you'll see lots of uh, seasonal flowers in bloom. You see the hydrangeas. Hydrangea season. Right? And then you can check out all the local houses. The apartments. Here's an oh this is the story of Momotaro. Oh interesting. I actually uh, never noticed those before. <laughs> I don't know why. I think these are new houses going up. Yeah, it looks like some new houses here. Oh, that's so cute. It's, it's the story of Momotaro. Do you know the story of Momotaro? That's uh, the story of the Peach Boy. You guys know about it? Have you heard of that story before? So obviously, you can still hear the cars because the main street is right over there, right over there, so it's near. But you see how nice it is? Not many people walking along the street and it's just kind of peaceful. So this is one of the hidden streets that I like taking walks along. Sometimes, you know, I gotta be honest, like sometimes, I mean, there are so many things, there are so many places that we can go to and I guess I could hop on the train and go to a different area of Tokyo. A lot of times though, you know, it takes me an hour to get there because Tokyo's just humongous. So when I need to, I guess, clear my mind and think, or maybe I'm just not feeling that great and I don't want to travel too far I like to come here to walk along on this street I do I also like to walk at night if I can't sleep for some reason these days I don't seem to have problems sleeping anymore but when I used to, yeah, I used to like to walk around at night in my neighborhood that's something that you can do here in Japan, fortunately. Got more hydrangeas here. 
These are a smaller size hydrangeas. Oh, look at this. I wonder what this is. Well, what is it? Ume? I don't know. Hmm. And these things are to prevent cars from going in. Yeah, cars are not allowed to go through this street. Again, for some reason, I don't know why I like looking at apartments and houses. I also like this flower here. I don't know what you call it. But it looks like a miniature bouquet of flowers to me. I don't know the name. I wonder what they're called. And of course, the story of Momotaro is continuing. Is this Momotaro still or is this something else? I don't know. Mm -hmm. A lot of the apartment buildings in this area are quite old. That's a barber there. Oh, look at this. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. These are interesting, aren't they? Kind of looks like a tongue is coming out of a... Looks like a beak. Maybe it looks like a beak, like a bird. Okay. You know what? I'm almost at the end of this street actually. So we'll just keep going until we end up at the end. Okay. These kind of remind me of tea leaves. Last year and earlier this year, you know, we went to a lot of uh, remote places and ever since we've been visiting those places, um, more and more, I am finding myself wanting to visit more of those kind of places. You know what I mean? Cities are great too. I love the city. I do. I think if I were to move to a rural area, I'm not sure how well I do. Although you never know. Rent is much cheaper. But I do enjoy the convenience of the city, I guess. But yeah, I am kind of desiring to visit some place like that again. So maybe Tochigi might be an option because Tochigi is nearby. I would like to visit uh, Yamanashi as well. That's where Critical Eats Japan lives. So that's an option. Actually, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. I think I'm just gonna kind of and the video after you cross the street over there. But where are we at the moment? We're kind of like in between Nakano Station and Shin Nakano Station, which is to the right. If you just turn right here and you keep walking down, you end up at Shin Nakano. And you'll find a shoten guy there, you'll find shops there. Oh, see my I must watch where I'm going. Yeah, so if you walk up there, you get to Shinakano. But I'd like to cross here. No cars coming right now. Okay. And then we're back on a quiet street. I don't know how far this goes. I've never been to the end. And now I'm wondering. Hmm. Hmm. We'll walk a little bit more because I'm curious now. <laughs> I've actually only walked as far as there because um, I usually just go to Shin Nakano. And then from there, if I want to go to Shinjuku, I just keep walking and Shinjuku is right there. But 
kind of interested to go just a little bit more. I hope you guys don't mind. Stick with me for maybe three to five more minutes. Okay? So this place is kind of uh, spacious. It's their parking lot, I think. Some s sitting chairs here. Sitting area with some shade. Hmm. You still do have, you know, cute artwork on the ground like this one. Looks like mountains with faces. Okay. Looks like there's a temple around here. Maybe. Okay. How about... Let's see. I like the colorful doors there. Let's go this way. Just for a change of pace. Here's a 100 yen vending machines. All drinks are 100 yen. Except for this one. Just this one is 110. Interesting. Oh, look at that. You know, I've never actually walked on this street before. So this is kind of interesting because there's like a... I guess it's a house or almost look like a shack to me. But this is like an old poster of Lotte Ghana chocolate. You can see it's pretty faded. But there's a whole collection of... Um, I shouldn't say collection, it's just three vending machines. But look at this. This must have been a shop back in the day. And then you got modern vending machines in the front here. Oh, this is interesting. And there's a laundromat. And this is a public bathhouse. Are they still operating? Oh, no, no. They've closed because the building has gotten old. So I think they are going to be rebuilding. Wow. This is something I enjoy about walking. You see, if you don't walk, you'll never discover these things. I mean, you know, it, I mean, sure, it's just a, an old shop with vending machine and an old non-operating public bath. But that's a little bit of history in the middle of central suburban Tokyo. But yeah, I'm glad I decided to kind of walk into this street because it's a new street. <laughs> the mix of old houses, you got this pretty new looking building here. Hmm. Should I go up there? No, maybe I'll turn this way. Ah, okay, I know where we are now. The thing though, when, when you enter one of these like residential maze-like areas, it's hard to know where you are because you're kind of surrounded by houses and apartments and you no longer can see landmarks. So I get lost a lot of times. But if you have Google Maps, you have no problem. And now I can, I can kind of see a tall building like in the background over there, which means I believe that is Nakano Sakaue, which is like very near Shinjuku. So yeah, that is the direction I'd like to go. I feel like this video has gone kind of long enough and I'm just kind of chatting and you know, once again, this, has, this video has become a very random video. I hope you guys still found it interesting. What did we see on this video? Well, we started off with the Nakano area, Nakano Station. I showed you the, the little shops and bars in that uh, brick area, which I love. And look, sorry, there's a little park for the residence, I guess. I mean, it's a public park with a little restroom hut. So anyway, 
thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. It's interesting how popular my Hawaii video was. Very, very interesting. I never knew you guys would enjoy that. How many of you guys, how many of you guys who watch, who are watching this video live in Hawaii or are from Hawaii? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Just because I find it very, very fascinating that so many people watched the Hawaii videos. They're just walking videos of me walking around my old neighborhood. So, <laughs> but anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy that you guys are in, you guys are enjoying videos like that. That tells me to go back to Hawaii and film more videos like that one. <laughs> so once again, thanks guys. Thank you to my moderators as always for being so amazing and always waking up to watch the videos and moderate with me. I, I truly appreciate it. Look, here's another little park here. Look at this. There's a little park. Nice little public park. Huh. How nice. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Anyway, thank you to the rest of you for watching as well. I appreciate it. And um, hope to see you guys on my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, before I forget, what kind of videos do you guys want me to make when I go to Okinawa? Can you let me know in the comments as well? I would love to know. Thanks. <laughs>